Hello everyone. Going to see a doctor is probably one of the least like activities by many. But with modern medicine, we can probably count ourselves lucky that we can get adequate treatment for most ailments. Avicenna was a Persian philosopher, scientist, and polymath. He was born in 1980 CE in a city called Bukhara, which is now in modern-day Uzbekistan. He is best known for his revolutionary medical and philosophical ideas. Avicenna wrote around 100 books during his life, many of which were used well into the 20th century in both the Muslim and European world. Probably his most famous book is considered to be Al-Qanun fi al tib or The Canon of Medicine. It was translated into Latin in the 12th century and served as a standard textbook in medicine at European medical schools for several centuries. Although Avicenna lived a rather short life, passing away at the age of 57, he got a head start on his scientific career. He is known to have memorized the entire Quran by age 10 and far surpassed his tutors in the study of logic, physics, mathematics, and metaphysics not long after and continued his philosophical studies on his own. By age 16, he took up the study of medicine, which he also aced in no time, and wrote his famous canon by age 21. To say he was a whiz in the academic field would be an understatement, but what really set him apart was not necessarily the fact that he was a child prodigy, or the fact that his medical advice was, well, useful, but the fact that he kept on thinking outside the box. His academic career was especially furthered through the help of Sultan of Bukhara, who gave him access to the Royal Samani Library as a token of gratitude, since Avicenna had cured him from a disease that perplexed the court physicians. The story goes that the Prince of Persia was suffering from depression and refused to eat or drink. His severe malnourishment and depression led him to have hallucinations, a condition called melancholia at the time. He went so far that the prince believed he was a cow and acted like one too. Apparently, the prince was so deep into his hallucinations that he kept on mooing and asking his practitioners to bring in a butcher so he could be slaughtered and be made into a stew. Avicenna, who knew that psychology plays a very real role in human well-being, was called to see the prince as a last measure and approached the patient with knife in hand. Upon seeing the prince, he called, Where is the cow so I might kill it? The prince, who by this point was extremely thin, mooed and was laid on the ground for slaughter. At this, Avicenna, obviously having no intention of actually killing the prince, exclaimed that the cow was simply too lean for slaughter and that it must be fattened up beforehand. This simple but clever psychological trick ensured that the prince willingly ate and drank until he was adequately nourished, which led to him getting rid of his hallucinations and finally, with a healthy body and mind, was able to get over his melancholia. Avicenna's medical knowledge and practice influences medical science even until today. So next time you get your pulse taken by a doctor, Know that it was Avicenna who revolutionized medicine by making pulse taking a standard diagnostic method. In fact, he was able to correctly diagnose that a woman in the court was lovesick by taking her pulse and asking her pointed questions.